The call sign here is Kilo Alpha 3, Oscar Alpha Zulu. Kilo Alpha 3, Oscar Alpha Zulu. The name of here is John. Uh, Roger John, Roger John, uh, how's it going? And uh, uh, where were you again? Here again. I'm about uh, 30 minutes out Roger John, well, I'm copying you, uh, and I'm copying you on my local antenna. Uh, but I'm copying you better on uh, Milford, uh, PA. Uh, what kind of radio are you running, John? John? Roger that, John. Now I have a, a setup for the 7300 that'll take you up to uh, uh, 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation, which is extremely loud but very transparent. And it uh, starts with your compressor. Uh, we suggest running that uh, 7300 compressor at about a 3 out of 10. It's uh, a very uh, nice touch, uh, and you'll never hear it running at a 3, but it does. Uh, it is part of the uh, setup. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger, John. Now uh, uh, go to your uh, ALC meter. Go to your ALC meter, and with your mic gain control, uh, adjust your ALC to run mid scale to two thirds. Uh, adjust your ALC meter to run uh, to uh, halfway to two thirds by your mic gain control. Roger. And you'll probably need to be in transmit uh, to be able to do that. Uh, transmit and uh, talk in a normal tone and then adjust that mic gain where your uh, ALC reading is uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. Alrighty, so I'm assuming that you, you did that. Then the next thing, uh, what uh, mic are you running, sir? Sure. That's an RE20. Ah, nice mic. Uh, okay, I would suggest uh, going to your tone control and uh, whatever, you, whatever EQ you're running now, I would put uh, plus uh, two plus two on the treble control of the uh, uh, the setting that you have now. Roger. Roger. And the, uh, the thought behind that is that you want a nice uh, crisp audio. You want a lot of intelligibility on your audio into the fact that uh, somebody can understand the words that you're saying even though you're even with the noise. Uh, that they can still understand the words you're saying even though your signal strength is uh, at their noise level or uh, some cases below their noise level. It all has to do with intelligibility of the audio that you're transmitting. I was, uh, conditions have shifted around just a little bit, John. I checked with my local uh, antenna. I did have a little bit of a copy on you uh, earlier in my local antenna, but uh, things have kind of faded down a little bit. Uh, uh, let's uh, tell me about uh, your antenna system for about 15 seconds, and let's see where conditions go.
Uh, John, I'm sorry. Uh, conditions have uh, kind of uh, uh, moved around quite a bit there. I'm not copying you on uh, any of the SDRs or my local antenna. So I, I noticed that you said you were running 100 watts. Uh, the thing is, uh, by uh, today's uh, 40 meter standards, 100 watts in three or 400 miles is going to get you about a 2 uh, dB above uh, noise level if you're lucky. And that's uh, unfortunate that uh, 40 has uh, gotten to that and I don't, don't know if it ever was a, a time where 100 watts at uh, 400 miles or 300 miles would come in at a nine over. If if it ever was that way, boy, that must have been a beautiful time to be on 40 meters because it hasn't been that way uh, that I know of in uh, recent times. And like I say, 100 watts uh, at uh, three, well, at this hour anyway. And, and we try to pick the best hour. We used to be uh, uh, 10.30 in the morning, and uh, we picked up a 3 or 4 dB of signal strength by moving to this uh, afternoon schedule from 3.30 till 5. But uh, even that uh, is getting to be uh, a challenge uh, for the 100-watt stations. Roger, roger. John's still not copying you, sir. Uh, but anyway, that is the reason behind our uh, running SDRs. We, we are running uh, four uh, independent SDR receivers uh, for uh, Rochester, New York, Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, Milford, PA, and uh, Alexandria, Virginia. We kind of set up a grid uh, for the uh, eastern United States, and we're, we're primarily working the east coast from uh, Montreal to Miami. Uh, we are our mo original mantra when we set up this station was uh, uh, 20 over from Montreal to Miami, and uh, we had a secondary mantra was uh, uh, from New York to New Mexico. But uh, we're not working a lot uh, west apparently, so uh, we had to modify the uh, the logo just a little bit. So we went from Montreal to Miami. Anyway, John, uh, come back and let me hear you see if uh, conditions have improved. Uh, have not, John. Have not. So I tell you what, buddy. Uh, if uh, you know, if you get a chance uh, next Friday, uh, uh, come in and uh, uh, check in, and we'll see how you're doing there. I'd, I'd love to hear your station. Uh, I bet it uh, is just uh, beautiful, uh, and uh, so we will be on. Uh, you know, with any luck at all next Friday, or if uh, conditions improve uh, later this afternoon, uh, uh, try me again. Uh, if I my signal comes up to you from where it is. Now, now, uh, you know, then uh, there's a good possibility that your signal to me will have increased uh, the same amount. So uh, we'll say threes for now, John, and we'll catch you later. Have a good afternoon, good weekend if we don't meet uh, later this afternoon or, or next Friday. This is a KC9VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio. We are recording live now till 5. And also, if you need a little assistance in setting up your uh, transmitter audio, uh, we do that too. Uh, this is a KC9 VKV.